Danny Elfman ish type of sound. So we're talking fantasy magic type of thing. For those who don't know me, my name is Mark Giovanni. I'm a composer done music for movies that have gone to Netflix, Amazon Prime, Palmer Channel, Lifetime. I'm also the founder of Cinematic Composing, where we take composers from zero to full-time career if you want to work directly with me. And another 12 mentors, Phil Keller, Spider-Man composer Christopher Young, Oscar nominated composer Javier Navarrete, and so many more. Schedule a call, let's talk, see if you're a good fit. We just take 20 composers. All right, moving on. I recreated Alice in Wonderland, something like this, right? So, straight to the point, the trick of kind of like more magic, fantasy, Danny Elfman, and we are using his name to make it easy to identify the style. It's a combination of three things, the melody, the harmony, and how you orchestrate it. The melody is very important because if you come up with a melody that already sounds a little bit like magic fantasy, it's gonna be much easier. But let's start with a melody that doesn't sound as fantasy Danny Elfman. So, let's go with something like... What? Okay, we'll try, we'll try. Just so you know, a couple of days ago, my main computer's main hard drive got corrupted. The backup was corrupted as well, so I don't have a studio at this point. That's why I'm composing with this laptop. By the way, it's a MacBook Air, 16 gigs of RAM. So let's go with this very simple melody. If we harmonize this in the like, typical diatonic way, One, four. It does not sound magic. So the trick is move to connect those chords by major or minor thirds. Seriously? Seriously? So basically maybe we've got this chord here. And the next chord is going to be up or down a third. It can be a major or minor third. So. So that's step number one. The chords can be major, minor, diminished, or augmented, so two major chords and the minor chord. So the melody that we had earlier, now if we change the chords and we move them by thirds, A flat major, C minor, and then E major. Now the trick is on the third of the chord. And by the way, there are many ways to explain this, like median chords or borrow chords from other keys. I like to keep it super, super simple. So again, this is how we are connecting this chords, but the trick is on the third, meaning the melody should land on the third of the chord each time we change chord. My kids always leave stuff on the table. This is chord A, this is chord B. The melody should land blue, blue. This is a chord. This is the first, the third, and the fifth. So the melody should land on the third of the chord, and then we've got another chord, and it should land on the next third of the chord. This is the silliest thing I've ever done on YouTube. Hopefully you got the concept. And so this is what creates emotion. When we land on the third of the chord is the emotion. If we move those chords by thirds, as I mentioned, then we get this fantasy magic type of feeling. If we move those chords like diatonically, then it's more adventure type of thing. So for example, how to train your dragon. Right, third, third, third. This is not the third, but this is the third. Third. First, five, four, two. It's very diatonic. If we instead connect those chords and we move them around like I don't care what key I'm in. If on top of that, we add a little bit of their ear candy. Then this adds a little bit more of the magical feeling. If we add a little bit... Then this is gonna add a little bit of that earth candy and it's gonna contribute to that more like magic fantasy feeling. So that's the third thing. We said the melody, try to make it as magical as possible. Like if you stay major minor type of melody, it's gonna sound... 
less magical if you are using some modes or you're stepping outside of the key then it's gonna sound a little more magical second harmony moving those chords by thirds and then finally the orchestration the more arpes and glockens builds and celestas and uh, woodwinds the more magic is going to sound but then if we go on the other side of things or casual homophonic it's gonna sound more like dark fantasy right Choir. See, same chords, basically C minor to A flat minor to F minor. All minor chords in the mid low register, homophonic. You got the strings, a little bit of brass, a little bit of choir. So there you have it. If on top of that, we've got something like. And that's it. Three things. Craft a melody that sounds magical, so step a little bit outside of diatonic, major, minor type of melody. Move the chords by thirds, major or minor thirds, and then the chords can be major, minor, diminished, augmented, triadic generally. Make sure that the melody lands on the third. <laughs> Not always, but it helps. And then finally the orchestration is gonna be brighter and homophonic, lower registers, gonna sound more ominous. See you in the next video.